Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord and Amen. praise the Lord. Amen. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Sunday. We are here and Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Amen. We are okay. God has, you know, been faithful to us. Mm -hmm. For those that were attacked during the week and are sick, we are praying for your health in Jesus' name. Amen. For those that were attacked by spiritual thuds and you've lost some of your properties, your money, and maybe your life is going on a downhill place, we are praying for your rising, for your restoration in the name of Jesus. Amen. For those who are tricked by the enemy one way or the other, in any way, in the name of Jesus Christ, we are praying for your, for your rising up in the name of Jesus. Amen. So I just want to welcome you into this live broadcast as we are sharing the word of God and, you know, when we share, we grow. We, when we correctly divide the word of God, then we grow. And when we grow, it works for the betterment of the lives of ourselves and our children and their children. So in learning the things of God, in growing in the ways of God, you are uh, ministering to, to your own children in a way. You are ministering to your great-grandchildren in a way. You are ministering to the society, to the community, the change that comes into your life affects everyone around you. So God bless you. Mm -hmm. Today, I have a sermon that I've entitled, you know, Dealing with the Spiritual Laws of Your Residential Area. Praise God. Amen. Law, spiritual laws govern the life that we live. This life that we live is spiritual. So your environment is also spiritual. And if you don't know how to deal with the spiritual laws, or you don't even know that such laws exist, then you are living in darkness and your life is, you know, like an open field. Whichever animal that would want to pass through that, uh, that field will pass. Whichever animal that would want to come into that field will come. Even, uh, what do you call these people who go to people's land? Squatters, eh? Mm -hmm. Even squatters. They can just come and squat there. Wana janga nyumba zao za mabati and before long we are seeing them. Hii hapa ndio tumezaliwa, hapa ndio tumeishi, mwezi mmeshimiwa. Tunaomba serikali iangalie and it is your land. Why? Because it was not fenced. Why? Because you don't know the laws of acquisition of land. That any time you purchase any piece of land, you're supposed to put on a fence. You're supposed to fence your land or at least build something or at least put beacons that indicate this is this land from here to here this portion looks like it is already possessed praise god mm -hmm. so it is up to you now because you didn't apply the laws now you are dealing with squatters now you are dealing with you know some animals it's like a park they the hyenas they don't know where to go if you burn the forest they whichever animals that are residing there praise the lord Amen. so these laws what are these laws that affect your residential area let me start again every residential area has spiritual laws that are applicable to it there are things that are done in one area that cannot be done in another area. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, here in, I want to give a good example of Kenya where I stay. Uh, somebody could be hawking what? I stay in the pipeline estate uh, in, Eastlands, uh, in Eastlands, in Nairobi. And we, we host the best slums. We host the best cheap, estate, uh, cheap uh, you know, houses. Uh, let's say this is where maybe no more Kenyans hustlers. This is this this is the area where they stay, and so what you find on the streets when you walk out of this estate, what you find on the streets. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Uh, what you find on the streets when you walk out. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not what you find when you walk out other streets. Maybe let, let's say where. Uh, in Westlands, Parklands, Eastlands and well, Parklands. Mm -hmm. When you go to the streets of Parklands, you, you, you may not find people who are selling plastics, you know, plastic cups. Uh, I don't know what type of sufurias. Dawaya mende, dawaya kunguni, dawaya ingine gani, ya panya, ingine gani. 
you know like oya mudoni you're just getting out of your house at your side there there's a kajama dawa ya kongoni dawa ya kongoni you will not even look at that kajama but me when i'm getting out of my estate here i will find these people eh uh, kuna dawa ya kujipaka kuna dawa ya you know the sickness you know this uh, quack doctors when they they create they are creatives eh? you will find them in some streets here eh hii dawa unakunywa mara tatu and people are full there go to karen you will not find them why because the resi, the, the people who stay there they go to they go to where they go to nairobi hospital they go to other hospitals so this dawa ya kunguni people you will not find them there why because of the environmental situations there are environments that demand dawa ya kunguni and there are environments that demand what this mosquito repeller bila kwa kukuta you know the one you just that smokes into the environment hallelujah Amen. so things are different things are different based on environmental Location. locations you know locations we have just the way we have locations in the in nairobi we have eastlands we have westlands we have parklands in the spiritual realm your estate is also a nested it is mapped out in the spiritual realm it is a nested and in every estate there are laws you know there are houses you move to maisha yako ilikuwa tu poa then you move into this house the first three months you've lost everything and now you are begging the landlord the one that you paid an upfront you know you know half a year six months before now after the six months you are you are begging them every day please give me one more week please give me one more month please give me there are houses you go to and maisha yako ina haragana there are houses you go to immediately mumengia one of one of the spouses dies or a child dies you know and then things start going south or is it north whichever side you think you deem is your north they start moving to that direction na vitu zinaharibika there are cities that you move to you are transferred maybe you are in the police force or maybe you are where you are a teacher people who move move around eh? while you are in karatina you prospered mm. you even bought a car mm. then they moved you to mutonguni uko ukambani mm. the first thing that you lost was your car mm. the next thing was your marriage mm. the next thing your kids wakaanza kuvuta bangi mm. your life is just you know things fall, things are falling apart in your life kwa nini because you've just moved from karatina to mutongune mm -hmm. the demons that you found in mutongune you found women who are ready to grab and i'm not saying it happens in mutongune hallelujah people from mutongune i'm just giving an example so you find that immediately you moved into that space mm -hmm. you lost your marriage even you yourself you who is born again for 20 years you who knows the the the, the spirit of prostitution mm -hmm. can never be spotted in you even you you started now start you started praying prayers of controlling yourself praise the lord mm -hmm. you, you started saying hey aki since i came here aki ama nimekuwa beautiful men are just after me then you are wondering when i was in karatina what was was i too fat mm -hmm. had i you know so much weight and now you've just lost a kg mm -hmm. or you've, you've even added two kgs or five and now you're saying ama because i was thin and i had weight you know men are after me kila mahali nikaenda but when I was in Karatina everybody was you know they used to respect me wakiniona wananiita mama Renzi but here wananiita si stay but again you think because of you know human pride you think ama nime move mutonguni msonye nikakuwa msupu hallelujah amen you know you such you know that pride unajipimp to but it's the environment it's full of immoral people and they're trying to you know rub off their immorality on you praise the lord amen. remember i'm teaching dealing with the spiritual laws of your environment praise the lord amen. and i want to take you through some some environments that needed an application of another law so that they could change for the betterment of the people mm -hmm. and when you go to an area that is negatively affected uh by witchcraft because many a times these laws are put there by witches and wizards you know mm -hmm. the in this environment many a times when god created everything he said it was beautiful mm -hmm. but again there are laws that are from god that are applicable in any land if you live your life you're immoral you are what you are you don't know god you don't fear god wewe ukikufatuka mainzi that is your choice mm -hmm. and you may die from wherever it is you are staying that does not come from the environment praise god mm -hmm. however 
you could be god fearing but you've now moved into this environment that is demonic infested it is full of demonic satanic happenings and if you are not aware hallelujah praise mm -hmm. god i am talking to this protocol the people sana you the our to maendelea sana our tembe yangi kwa my neighbors our english yangi my neighbors our sangi yangi my neighbors so wherever they stay whatever happens there let it happen i mean miss yangi mm -hmm. kwa neighbor miss yangi english yangi neighbors but remember you are a parent you have children or you are married you have a spouse mm -hmm. who is going out of your house and coming back and the people says bless us shall you be as you go out and as you you come back mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. but that law has already been blocked in that environment mm -hmm. so as you're going out you're receiving curses as you're coming back you're receiving curses before you know it wewe na bwana yako munapigania glass glass mm -hmm. he's asking why did you leave that glass there mm -hmm. and you're saying why don't you remove it and it's something you could say before mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. but today itaitiwa wazee wakalia chini judi alisema why don't you remove it inakuwa kesi mpaka you are like are we okay you're not okay the environment the laws that are applicable there they are demanding an eye opening thing they are demanding for you to be sensitive to your area they are demanding for you to be prayerful in that area and not just prayerful you will need to pray in a certain way for example uki uki kuwa na malaria mm. then you go to the hospital and they misdiagnose you mm. waseme you have cancer uko tuna malaria mm. then they now start taking you through chemo they now start i don't know doing what cutting your breast wanasema hiyo ndio iko na imeleta cancer what will happen to you you may be killed by a simple sickness that you would have treated but because there was a misdiagnosed mm -hmm. the same thing if let's say your husband is a drunkard and his problem is not is not at a drunkardness per se mm -hmm. it is the power that is pushing him to drunkardness could be wewe tu mwenyewe kelele zako you you create an environment that a man comes in he just goes home to back out to drink so that he will come back dead his senses are dead i get kwa kitanda mm -hmm. if you are not dealing with yourself you are just going from one prayer meeting to another hey muse wa any time there is a prayer request prayer request yes yes my husband is a drunkard i want that man to change riba 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 and then from riba 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 you pick your phone we uko wapi we nyangao he is not coming home any day soon praise god because you are not dealing with the source what is pushing this man to drunkardness it is you so if you can ask them can you pray for me i change my attitude and then you will see this man coming home mm -hmm. praise god mm -hmm. so the source so sometimes when we are in an environment and you start seeing changes that are looking like not very positive mm -hmm. don't start now beating your children quarreling your spouse can you find out where are you people praise the lord mm -hmm. uh, i want to start with this example yeah in the book of exodus let us start with the one in exodus when they went back and they went round praise god Amen. exodus 15 if your book has exodus hallelujah 15 exodus 15 and this is verse what 22 my people perish for lack of knowledge so moses brought israel from the red sea and they went out into the wilderness of shur and they went 3 days in the wilderness and found no water and when they came to mara they could not drink of the waters of mara for they were bitter therefore the name of it was called mara and the people because the waters were bitter complained people murmured against Moses saying what shall we drink and he cried unto the lord and the lord showed him a tree which he had cast into the waters the waters were made sweet there he made for them a statute and an ordinance and there he proved he proved them praise god Amen. the children of israel came to a place called mara and in this place the waters were bitter So imagine you are thirsty and you want to drink the water and it's like you are taking marubaini praise god aloe vera you know it's bitter it is uwezi kunywa hii maisha ikaliki you've just moved into a place where 
your husband was a provider he is no longer providing the business that was generating income that was taking care of the family it is no longer generating so what happens you start quarreling each other you start murmuring against each other you start asking your husband or oh, nowadays you have another family or oh, nowadays you have another wife or oh, nowadays da, 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 da. Yani, everybody is blaming everybody if it is your wife who was getting money that was sustaining you you now you now move on her like oh excuse me pesa kwenyu unapeleka tu pesa kwenyu and meanwhile kwao they are crying mm. oh squeeze tu ni bwana yako na watoto wako ndio unaona so this woman who was a provider is between the rock and a hard place this man who was a provider is between the rock and a hard place mm. because the wife is like how come your mother is ma, your mother looks like she's okay so you are taking care of her and you're not taking, and you see at times if you have 200 bob your mother who is 70 is asking for food your wife who is 40 is asking for food who do you think you'll feed eh kaleche who do you think you'll feed you will feed your mother with 70. Mm -hmm. You are as a kufa. Your wife can another lala jana amuke. Mm -hmm. But your wife will not get it. She will start now saying, she will not understand that you are just budgeting for that 200 bob. So she will think that will be mama yako. You are, you are getting. This is the concept. When they reached this place, the waters were bitter. Mm -hmm. They were complaining. They were murmuring. They were sin. You know, the sin that God hates most is this sin of murmuring and complaining. Mm -hmm. So these people, immediately they moved to Mara. They got into sin murmuring and complaining you know christians where how many times have we moved gone to places where now we started even questioning god before we came here we knew our god our provider to kianza to kwamba tunajua unatusaidia hallelujah we we are shaking but here we have gone here to nazema mungu wangu mbona ume we are singing a different song we are complaining every day when we sit in our house we are asking kwani mungu ametuacha squeezy me in fact me now the father the father of the house is saying me i just don't know if there's god now your daughter who is dead Daddy, akuna mungu ni ukweli. Now what are you telling that child? Praise God. Mm -hmm. So we now enter into this scene of ethicism. We are now atheists. We are now even teaching our children that there is no God or any any anytime things go wrong, there is no God. Mm -hmm. Anytime things go right, hallelujah, mm -hmm. he is sitting on the throne. You know that is us, eh? Mm -hmm. So, in this place where the waters were bitter, the sin was complaining to God. They, it was murmuring and complaining. And Moses, because he was the leader, because Moses committed the sin of rescuing these people. You know, for them, anytime things were wrong, hey, why did you take us from Egypt? Was it because there were no grace? Anytime the food was not okay, hey, Egypt kulukwa na kachumbari, Egypt kulukwa na ice cream, Egypt kulukwa siju na nini. You see, it's the same thing. Before we were okay, mami, you know, a woman who was what? A twilight girl. She And the children knew their mother is, you know, yeah, a woman has to do what a woman has to do. Mm. So, you and your cousin Gepata. So, and the kids knew. And somehow, somehow, they were proud of their mothers. And they would say, I am proud of my mom. How, she, how low she stooped for us. Mm. And of course, you should be proud of your mother who turned into selling her body so that you can grow well. Mm. Please, children who are brought up by prostitutes, I feel so sorry for you. Anytime you sit and you start bad-mouthing your mothers, do you know what pushed them into that prostitution? Mm -hmm. It was because they have you. Mm -hmm. If they were alone, solo, they would have gone and become a house girl anywhere. Mm -hmm. They would have gone and become, you know, be, they would be employed in the lowest of the law. On top of it, they would even have become chokoras. Mm -hmm. And they would have survived because they are alone. And they don't have to worry about mutu alibaki kwa nyumba ndaka chakula. But here you are, umefungua mdomo sujui kama eagle linangoja kupewa chakula. What did she do? She started sleeping with one man, then another, then another. Eventually she became a prostitute. Mm -hmm. And now, because now you, she educated you through blood, now ukona kazi muzuri, instead of buying her land, building her a place, umweke kazi, amu make sure umem provide her, no muambie mami, now you don't have to be a prostitute. You can now sit and eat. I can't even introduce anybody to my mother. Hey, I can't introduce anybody to my mother. You are under a curse. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. You are under a curse. Mm -hmm. You are under a curse. That is not our topic. We are looking at our environment. So let's continue. So these environmental spiritual laws, if you don't know them, if you don't apply them, if you don't live, you, if you don't understand the dictates, sauti yenye inaongea kwa estate yenye unaishi, wherever you are on earth, if you don't pray 
and take charge then you will find yourself uh, you will find yourself ukitokomea you know mm -hmm. you are getting lost you are being swallowed by the forces of the, of the environment just because you are not careful like i would want to ask him sonia how many people when they want to move to a new house how many of them pray no. how many of them even give an offering just to say god as i am moving into this new house be with me walk with me let it be well with me let it be the promised land you have promised her. how many people how many very few and in fact atoka kwa church pastor kwambie eh judi ulipata nyumba ingine tutakuja kuombea nyumba eh yombeeni tu nyumba nilikuwa nishaombea i love this christian when you tell them let's pray they say nimeomba nimeomba i wish uambie mtu nimeomba kama umeomba praise god amen umeomba kweli na umeomba but this you've not even prayed Somebody is suggesting sit to me nyumba 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 ni shaombea lakini the same same people i have uh, what do you call them is za kufungua nyumba those parties hmm? oh, house opening house warming i have a house warming which are, this house you are warming where you are warming it have you really prayed for it so that you can now start warming it praise the lord amen it is important my friend it is important when you are moving to a new house a new environment it is paramount for you to pray and dedicate it unto the lord why you don't know who built the house you don't know the owner of the house some of these houses when you are walk on a majini they have marginis like marginis and when you are moving in that house they have already dedicated the building by slaughtering a goat na wame bury in the foundation eh ni wangapi wameona watu wanajenga barabara wanaweka makondo ma pigs kwa kwa shimo wanamwagia mafuta ta wanazichoma and then they bury and that is the road and then now there there is a black spot and you are wondering where is the black spot coming from mm. praise the lord Amen. you you are there wondering why are people getting knocked 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 on that particular spot every day these people they respect their gods and their gods in the land of business demands any business you do you must dedicate it to us that is why what a chinja mbuzi wa eke kwa foundation wakishaweka hiyo mbuzi kwa foundation wakishaweka hiyo paka kwa foundation in some of these apartments unazianga paka miau kwa stairs miau you close the gate you are the caretaker unapanda from first floor to seventh floor there are no cuts but before uteremke second floor unazikia ground floor miau ukienda okay, first floor unazikia ground floor miau ukienda okay, third floor unazikia second floor and then you are there now you are meeting each other i have also seen others wanaishi in the same apartment in the same plot waju wanaambia wachini second floor wanaambia first floor uh, reduce the volume of your music mm -hmm. and they are asleep and second floor wanaambia third floor reduce the volume of your music mm -hmm. stop moving your things and then there is another one i used to know somewhere i used to stay a place called kayole in nairobi where people would meet on the stairs were upstairs are coming downstairs eh? mm -hmm. and all of them are like what's with you with the music there is no music there are others nimeona i i have seen people like this who live in places where when you leave things scattered when you come back you find the house in order no mefunga mlango kitanda imetandikwa meza imepanguzwa vyombo zimeoshwa how are you going to sleep in that house yeah praise god how are you going to sleep in that house foundation environmental praise god in your residential area they are spiritual laws gated communities the contractor who contract and build that estate the person who sold that land praise god Amen. they had their own dedications that bring spiritual laws Amen. you know like when abraham raised a, a, an altar in bethel Amen. and he left when his grandson was sleeping there the heavens were open praise god Amen. meaning if he had set up a demonic altar there and jacob went and slept there the whole night and genyongwa the whole night he could be raped the whole night you know you've moved to houses where immediately you moved into that house pap spirit husband mm. spirit raping you every day harassing your children everybody why are you why are you you moved there when your son was just a man nowadays anapaka lipstick 
Mm -hmm. Ameanza na lip gloss, ameshuka shuka, ametoboa toboa masikio, is walking like this, mm -hmm. your son. Mm -hmm. Your son. Your daughter, she even had a boyfriend, but when you moved there, she said, "Ah, you know me, I feel like a man." Mm -hmm. Me, me I'm more of a man than mm -hmm. and you're looking at her like, "But you only had a boyfriend the other day." Ah, you know me pote. Me, mom, didn't you notice I didn't even like him? <laughs> you know the things that your kids start telling you and you are sweating, mm -hmm. but you're looking at them and you're just sweating and you're saying, "God, nimekula ya nani mimi? Praise the Lord." Amen. Because of the environment, because there are spiritual laws that demand. For example, let me break it down to you. If I build a house to rent and I am I am spiritual, not I am occultic because if you are not a Christian, then every other thing is occultism. Mm. And I have I have my genie. I have dedicated my house to my genie. There are there are, there are agreements, covenants that I enter into with these spirits because they have given me the house. They tell me, okay, Vero, in this house, uh, people will be coming and they will be coming poor. Then you will be coming more rich. Mm. Who wouldn't want that? Hallelujah. Of course, I'm shida. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you, Vero, you will give us a child that we are going to reside in. Na atakuwa zuzu. You know, a zombie. Yeah. Your child will be a zombie. However, every person that lives in this blood, mm -hmm. their stars, everything shall be collected collectively and handed over to you. Mm -hmm. Then I feel I have like six kids. Okay, I have two. But you see, even a wicked mother, even two are many. Mm. I will just look at them, red sick, and say, picky, picky, ponky, mother had a donkey, donkey cry. I mean, it's not at the, at the I hate. I'm mm. just, well, okay, I'm going to show you. Donkey cry, picky, picky, ponky, ni renzi. And I tell them, sour, renzi, I'm a zombie. Let the renzi become the zombie. Mm. Now renzi will be a bit crazy. She'll be an amalgamate. She'll be, when she has her menses, she's soiling herself. She's raped by anybody in the estate. And one watchman nani nani anazalala na yeye she's pregnant i don't know from who i don't care na lea tu watoto because i know what i've done meanwhile in my plot it has how many houses it's a flat that has maybe 40 houses hallelujah Amen. these couples they come in watoto wanakuwa crazy uh, i'm just i'm just sacrificing i'm getting richer and richer wakiingia nilikuwa na ploti moja and they will be saying tumeona huyu pastor vero akikuwa mdosi you know when we came here she only had this one plot but now look she has 10 mm. <laughs> you 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 don't know the reason why you are so much in areas in this area mm. is because all that money is channeled to me and i'm talking to people who are spiritual people who know that witchcraft is is here you know we have christians who do not believe that there is witchcraft and they believe once they said yes to jesus everything in a tick 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 i am not talking to those ones i'm giving a solution to those that know that indeed, uneze ingia kwa nyumba, a new house. The moment you've moved in like this, hell breaks loose in your life. Ev you lose everything. Everything. You can lose your kids and you're with them. You can lose your spouse and you're with them. Do you know that? Mm. The moment you've moved in here, you've become like brother and sister. Munalala mm. mumeva suti. And then anamuka asubia na kosa kuonga juu anaenda a different place not where he was yesterday na kosa wa anabrush to meno. Na wao anamuka unajipanguza panguza and you run to another meeting. Uh, are you not bewitched? Mm -hmm. Is the witchcraft not working? Praise God. Mm -hmm. So that is because you don't understand the laws of that land. If I have given my plot to the devil or I was blessed by Satan, mm -hmm. blessed because I offered my daughter mm -hmm. and I was blessed and now you, you've come, you are the tenant, you gradually, you're becoming poor, 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 poor. Until the last one year, I leave you stay there without paying. So my Judy, you've been, you've been such a blessing to me. Judy, you've been a blessing. Where he mwaka, and you say, Aholi ya msonye, Aholi ya ulipi nyumba. Anywhere you go, we are praying. You know Christians, we are. Mm. <laughs> Christians, amukeni, we are funny. Anywhere you go, you tell us, uh, praise the Lord, church, amen, praise the Lord again, amen. You know me, my landlord, actually, I'm in Yambia, ni kai one year without paying. Ah, is he born again? Mm -mm. In fact, he drinks like a fish. Then we go. These people who are not born again are truly good. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> they are better, better than even those ones who are born again. Let's call him Mutiso. Hey, Mutiso. Mutiso is 
kwanza nao judi unajua wewe ndio umeambuka yani you are like just pray for mutiso for long life <laughs> so for, for for longer life mutiso will continue harassing people mm. you know people will continue living in mutiso's houses becoming poorer and poorer and poorer and they know it all now they have cancer now they have stroke now they, and for this stroke stroke five years mutiso anasema they will not pay I used to know Judy she was a good woman and now your sons now are getting into it because where uko na stroke umemaliziwa is waiting for you to die so when you die after three months and I'm here please after me to nyumba eh na hata nyinyi even them they will be saying after we cannot say mutiso is bad Six years since my mother became sick to mega kwa mutiso in fact every prayer meeting mutiso may live long mutiso may live long and mutiso is like hmm It's okay. Niombeni tu. Kwa Kristo niombeni tu. Mungu anajibu muombeni. It's okay. Pray for me. So please before you you walk around saying, "Eh, hey, let them have long life, please get to know who you are ushering into long life." Eh? Mm. It could mean more suffering. Praise the Lord. Let us look at um I want us to look at the book of what? Second Kings chapter 2, Tanzania yeah, chapter 2. Mm, Second Kings chapter 2 Mhm mm Elisha has just crossed there the the sea by dividing the waters the prophets of Memwambia they want to look for Elijah he has tried to stop them they have refused they've gone they looked they didn't find him they've come back now he's already operating in his prophetic praise god verse 19 of second kings chapter 2 says and the men of the city said unto Elisha behold i pray thee the situation of this city is pleasant as my lord seeth but the water is not mm -hmm. And the ground is barren. Mm -hmm. And he said, "Bring me a new cruise and put salt therein." And they brought it to him. And he went forth unto the spring of the waters and cast the salt in there, and said, "Thus says the Lord, I have healed these waters; there shall not be from thence any more death or barren land." Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, these people were living in a pleasant city. Ushenda. Ushenda Karen, have you been to Karen? Mm -hmm. uh, Nyali, Nyali, Nyali Mombasa ni to nini? Nyali Beach ama Nyali tu? Uh, uh, Nyali Estate. Nyali Estate. Yeah. Have you been to, you know, a place like Nyali Estate? A place like some, you know, green garden somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, eh? Mm -hmm. Kiuna, unaenda yani kunaitwaje? Uh, mm -hmm. Runda. Mm -hmm. Eh? Unaingia Runda unasikia. This is Kenya. Ma Riverside huko. Eh? So a place where you walk and there looks like what work on akili eh you know there are places you pass through and i'm not saying ni kubaya but wo yesi kupoa praise god si kupoa ni ku ni mali tu watu wanaishi you know mukuru kibra eh getawe marigo eh and it's godly god says the poor and the rich they will exist together there will always be the poor in the land so pray ambia Mungu tu akutoe kwa hesabu ya maskini because it says the, the poor will always be in the land so and the poor will always have a place to live in the land so the place where the poor live if you pass there utajua the, the, the sewage the what and we can you know some people don't want to hear a preacher say oh mokuru kwa njega is poor they start saying what is given and kwenda ongelelea maskini maskini tutawaongelelea because they exist tutaongelelea maskini we are going to talk about poverty yeah. we are going to talk about wealth because it exists praise god mm -hmm. but um but when you look at those places the places are pleasant when you pass through runda the place is pleasant mm. ato king ata watchman wakikualao tu uingie u stroll maybe you don't have a, a person to visit there mm. uki stroll enyewe even msonye ata hewa the you climate. the climate the and the serenity of the place you know unapita mahali unasikia you are in harmony with your senses with you, with your brain in fact unaweza pita hapo you've never thought about your life Mm -hmm. But when you pity there you are like for how long shall I be poor? <laughs> you know you start looking into yourself. 
you start looking at your life praise god Amen. how the new bars, the way those houses are built the way even the terraces the mitaros you know mm. you have ever seen a mutaro and kimutaro mm. then go to runda utaona eh drainage system <laughs> <laughs> Runda utaona drainage system. Mukuru utaona mitaro. Mm. Eh utatakuwa na ruka vizuri kuna mutaro. Then you miss you miss mark the mutaro kaleche. Unajikuta odubu up to knee length. Mm -hmm. Uko kwa siwa. Praise God. Amen. So the place was pleasant. It looked beautiful. Mm. However, underline you know beneath the beauty mm -hmm. there was a problem. Mm -hmm. The land was barren. Praise God. Amen. The waters were bitter. Amen. And when this guy is healing it for them, he says there will be no more death. You know, these people, when they are telling uh, Elisha about their problem, they didn't include death. Mm. They didn't include death. Eh? And the men of the city said unto Elisha, verse 19, Behold, I pray thee, the situation in this city is pleasant, as my Lord seeth, but the water is not on the ground barren. They talked about the water and the ground. Mm. And he said, bring me a new cruise and put salt therein, and they brought it to him. And he went forth unto the spring of the waters and cast the salt there, and said, listen, who is saying, the Lord now is the one speaking to this land. Mm. Thus saith the Lord, I have healed these waters. Mm. There shall not be from thence any more death mm. or barren land. So it, God could see the land was full of death mm. and barren land. Mm. But these people, they just knew the waters were bitter and the land was barren. Mm. God is not even talking about the bitter waters. It's just talking about death and barren land. And the moment God healed that, praise God. Amen. The, the, so, 22. So the waters were healed unto this day, according to the saying of Elisha, which is pork. The problem, the, the sole problem was the waters. It was bringing barrenness and death. Mm. And like, just bad waters and barrenness. When God was blessing it, it was dealing with death. Praise God. Mm -hmm. You could look at Runda, but underneath the beauty, there is a lot of drug abuse. Underneath the beauty, there is a lot of pornography. Underneath the beauty, mm -hmm. there is a lot of waywardness mm -hmm. for the youths. Praise God. Mm -hmm. People moving to Runda, they had kids that were sober, but one year into Runda, and the kids are now, they are even starring as porn stars. Mm. They have poked everything that can be poked in their body. Mm. They look like, you know, have you ever looked at somebody, unastuka? Mm. And then you look at them, in Musonyo na urumia. But in your urumaness, as you're looking at them, they are saying, did you see how Musonyo was shocked by my maendeleo? Musonyo Alice took vile ni maendeleo. He couldn't even take his eyes off me. You don't know what he's going through his mind. He's looking at you and saying, I wish to mama ke angendelea kuka akibira. I wish aki wangenda runda. Kai, hii ni nini sasa. Why? Because in that estate, the powers that are controlling, the laws that have been laid down in the spiritual law uh, about the estate is every man, every woman who comes here, one, we take the children, two, we attack the marriage. Mm. And so, you can see people smiling, they are driving out of Runda. Why are they smiling? They are just going to meet the lawyer. Wagawanye mm. vitu. <laughs> you know, mm. wewe, uku, uku isa idietu ya mokuru, when you smile, niju uko na food ya one week. Mm. Are you getting? Mm. You're like, hey, this week I'm going to eat. <laughs> You're happy. Uko waki smile, it's because now the lawyer has finally agreed to give her the kids. Mm. The ones that, are, they are common, they are common by the way. Go to those places, Karen, where, where, nyali, they are fighting over property. The kids are now, they are looking on how they are getting the kids of, out of Kenya, Arakaraka, because wakiendelea kukaa hapa, watauza bangi. You understand? Mm -hmm. But what happened to these kids? Praise the Lord. What happened to these kids? What happened is the environment affected them. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Nina, I will side chat you about my church. God bless you. Oh, no, no, no. 
Praise the Lord. Amen. The environment mm. is what is affecting them. Praise the Lord. Amen. You moved into Runda. You didn't pray about it. You are not prayerful. All you want is Runda. And we are looking at Sasa watu watajua nili endelea. Nili endelea. Unaza endelea ya status but underneath you are rotting. Mm -hmm. Underneath, mutu atakushika hivi one day and you just collapse. Mm -hmm. You crumble. Mm -hmm. Because now you are a shell. Because there are spiritual laws that are affecting the people in Runda, mm -hmm. which you did not put into consideration. And I'm not saying we are not going to move to Runda if we have the opportunity. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. We will move, mm -hmm. but we will pray. Mm -hmm. We will take charge. Please, who's in this case? Uh, another pastor was preaching how you cannot live in Runda. You know, Kitambo. Uh, because poverty mentality was the one that was dominating our thoughts. Mm. Uh, we would when when the pastor preached, hey, do you think when this everything, hallelujah, the poor would be, yeah, at least let to be able to give us your kid too. Eh? Mm. And then we would go, hey, Judy, you will eh? Afadali ni kwena, yes, kuliko kukwana pesa. Oh, yeah. Afadali, you have Jesus and money. Jesus and money. money. So that you will not have Jesus and you are stealing. You have Jesus and you are sleeping around with the watu. You have Jesus and you uko umeandiko kwa shop na unabebanga manguo za wenyewe wendo kauze kando kando. Jesus wins amekweka kwa saluni yake. Aoni Qtex, aoni sijui nini. Mm. You are busy stealing. Stealing our customers. Unaenda kwa nyumba. Unawashukia uko. Mm. Because, because you have Jesus. And you don't have money. Why? Mm -hmm. The gospel you received said, uh, it is very hard. It is easier for the camel to go through the needle's eye than mm -hmm. for a rich man to get into the kingdom mm -hmm. of heaven. Let me say something. It is also very hard for the poor to go to heaven. Mm -hmm. In fact, for me, I know it is easier for a rich man to go to heaven mm -hmm. than the poor to go to heaven. Amen. Because the poor, Oshana na mauso zao, Bitterness. Mm. If they find you laughing, unacheka ju umeshiba. Mm. If they find you siju, ukona, ata, ukona four bob. Ukona four bob juliana kwa majini. If they find your business is prospering, ina prosper juwewe ni, ni, ni muganga. Umeshinda kwa waganga. The poor. The poor. May God deliver the poor. Amen. Some others are poor because even of their attitude. Mm. How they have treated people who are better than them. How they view wealth. Well, imagine you are coming from a place where you are saying, Afadhali kuwa maskini ni ende minguni, kuliko kuwa tajiri ni kuwa suwezi ingi. <laughs> and so, ukiwana watu warunda, munafaa kuwaibia, munafaa kuwachapa, hao ni warunda. Huh? Mbaka, when somebody, a thief is, is shot down stealing from runda, the people on the slums are protesting. You should not kill a thief. And that thief was going to kill that person. Mm. Praise God. Amen. It was the thief now going to kill. Mm. But kibahati akawawa. People now are protesting. Because whoever had kwa nataka kuwawa, you know is the rich. Mm. And they deserve to die. See how ni tajiri. Mm. That attitude can make you stay in the slums forever. Praise God. Amen. So environment. You ought to check your environment and pray about your environment. Usi, usi ole tu. Sometimes that you think is promotion could be your demotion. Amen. A place where you moved and you should not have moved. I, once, once upon a time. I had a friend I was begging, please don't move, please don't move, don't move. She told me where she wants to move, please don't move to that area. Don't go to that area. Hey, the next thing, Pastor Vero is forcing me to live by faith. And to live by faith, she wants me to live big. Hey, imagine, you are now, unasengenya pastor, you are my advice to try and live better. Sia ti amekwambia mletee pesa zake hmm. zako hmm. sia ti amekwambia siju upande seed siju ufanye amekwambia tu msonye usiishi your environment ishi ngine and she was i think at a facebook nili trend at a siju wapi she could abuse me she called me a devil worshiper she called me a dog she called me i don't know what she called me every name today today as i sit here and testify that area where she moved it has pinched her praise god Amen. it has pinched her and my advice to her would be, go back to prayer, woman. Go back to prayer. Because there are places you go thinking, you know, I tried Ruth. Was it Ruth or Naomi? Naomi. Naomi, she came back saying, don't call me Naomi. Call me Mara. Call me Mara. Went she school. went out with her husband and two sons. She came back with one Ethan daughter who said, your God shall be my God. Your people, my people. Where you die, I, at least God just... Out of his masses, he gave her one to stick with her. Angerudi ya ni msonye. Angerudi 
keke. Mm. And these are, these are gleanings. Ruth was picking. Where, where would she get it from? Mm. Are you getting? She would have come to become a society beggar. And she went there laughing. She left Bethel, the house of bread. Mm. And she went, you know, I, I must move. Because you see, there's going to be war here. And I, I can afford to go to America. Then you go to America. The moment you land like this, your son now joins the gang. A gang that you would have not have joined in Kenya. Mm. And before you know it, he's telling you, you nigger, I will shoot you. <laughs> I will blow your brains out, your own son. <laughs> and my friend here in America, if only I can open my eyes and find myself back in Umoja. Mm. You, you, you remember the policemen that you can give them your son and say, please discipline this one for me. Mm. And they will do it, Rosafi. And your son will be aligned at the back of his mind. Mm -hmm. So, when a cat is lying, you must have kitchens and I, Una Ujikuta Sanze. But now you've taken them to the place where, when you, you pinch them and they go to school, before long, ding and dong. So, you didn't know you could win. Are you Jerry? Are you, are you just some father? <laughs> yes, I am just some mother. Uh, do you realize that your child abusing this child? I'm not child abusing. I just pinched. Oh, kwanza wanandika. She agreed. <laughs> she agreed. She agreed that she pinched the child before long. Uh, Judy, uh, what we have discovered is you're not fit to be a mother. Hushakwa. I am not fit. Ask Kasono. You're not fit to be a mother. Yes, you're not fit to be a mother. So we are picking the kids and we are taking them to a place where the government will take. Yani what you come so nye wana adapti wa. You get to eat, kill, and then you take a chance and back as a moja. Mm. Tatu, thinking you are in Kenya. I can't do that. I'm afraid. You know, in Kenya, when they go on my lines, mm. Mali manaza magai, mama keni mukali. Mm. Nene shapo. Mm. In America, we are not on my lines. <gasps> child abuser, child abuser. <laughs> you will know people have rights. This is who. Kuna what even in my house they have no rights. Mm. Sawa sawa. Mm. But kuna place when you go, you even at away unakubali they have rights. Mm. <laughs> Munaanza ku negotiate na wao. Aki wo yesu inge tu mapema. Mm. So najwa sisi siyo kama wa Americans. Mm. Please come home man. You are begging. But when when I was in Embakasi, all I needed to say was, Kaleche, six. Six! In fact, unamuza, ni mesema sa angapi? Manema mm. six. Unamesema, sija sikia? Mm. Six. And then you say, Sawa. Then she goes out. Six, Ikifika. Daddy, Gary, you took me a Rebecca. Now, this is only what I'm going to get it. Me, you took me a daddy. And where she is? Ah, you want my father to beat me up? You want my father to beat me up? So, kuna vile, anajiarakisha. So, we ume, ume move to another environment where the law of the land, the spiritual law of the environment demands watoto watakuwa brats. Mm. Watakuwa bastards. Mutoto mwenye ataponyokea ni one out of a hundred. And yours is not counted among the hundred. Mm. So you are here now struggling. You are here regretting. You are yes, you doing what? Why? Because you didn't pray. Mm. You didn't pray. Once upon a time somebody offered to take my kids to UK to the UK and educate them for me. It was a good offer. Mm. Sindi mm. But it was na uyo mtu because I said no. Why? I prayed. At first we were happy with my husband to say, Guy, you know the burden, when the burden of education has been lifted to you, mm. if you when you are in Kenya, hallelujah, mm. the, those who are educating in Kenya will understand with what I'm saying, will, you know, resonate with me. Mm. It was a burden lifted! Mm. But when I prayed, it was a no-no. And she was telling me, in the UK, the, raw, the education system are good, ta -da -da, ta -da -da, ta -da -da, you know, offering. Mm. So me, I was like, Sawa, why ende? But when I sought the Lord, it was, don't you dare. I said, naki God, woye. You know, sometimes you feel like God anakonia with you. Naki woye, God, to usinyo netu with you. Mm. Please, ni, ni, ni. he told me, they are not going to have your values. They are not going to grow how you want them to. They will not be what you would. Me, I wanted you to mold them to be. Mm. So I said, no. And that woman, if you ask her, the most stupid, the silliest pastor she has ever encountered, it is me. Praise God. Amen. But today I have my kids here. And knowing what I know, if I would have allowed one of them to grow up in the UK, one particular, I have two. So one, <laughs> out of the two, one. If that one, Which one? another one there, I, you know I have one here, so I'm not going to mention names. But if I, there's one, one of my kids, if she had grown up in 
the UK. Mimi ningekuwa nasomewa kama mtoto. She would be telling me mom sit down. Sit down. I said no you talk. Mm. She says no I won't talk until you sit down. And now I would sit. Mm. Then she would tell me you see I cannot do this. I cannot do this. You don't expect me to do this. Allah. Mm. And, 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 and you daddy what are you saying? Daddy, do you realize you're a dictator daddy? <laughs> and then she would tell us uh, and by the way this is how it's going to be and that's how it's going to be. And that's fine no because you know she had she has a personality more like mine mm -hmm. and even me if i grew up in the uk my friend i don't know so i needed to grow up in a place where there were laws mm -hmm. laws that were implemented through the road mm -hmm. hallelujah mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you know some people need that some people need that. Praise God. Amen. Parents who are not punishing their children. Hello. Spare the rod. Praise God. Amen. So that is how the, this environment was. It was pleasant to look at. But therein was death. Therein was barrenness. You know, mm. land atos weke kitungu, weke sukuma mzonye, weke nyanya, uchukwe fertilizer, weke, uspray, ufanyi kila kitu. Inakuangalia tu. Have you seen those two sukuma that are looking at you? <laughs> two sukuma tu na kuchungulia tu. Mm. They are going nowhere. They are not growing. Zina kuchungulia tu. Mm. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. And they needed healing. And the healing came when the man of God applied healing to the waters. He put water in a, in a new cruise. Holiness, consecration, praise God. Amen. That is what he introduced into the life. Water signifies life of the people, praise God. Amen. As he healed the waters, I'm sure he sat them down and taught them holiness and taught them prayer and taught them faith and taught them how to believe in God and the, the barrenness and the deaths that they were seeing. Hey, mze fulani ya mekufa, ho, mze fulani ya mekufa, ho, mama fulani ya mekufa kiza, ho, mtoto fulani ya mekufa, ho, all those ones. God says, I am going, there will be no more deaths, praise God, mm -hmm. and the land will no longer be barren. When the land is barren, it means people are struggling. Their businesses are not doing well. Praise God. Mm -hmm. That's what we say in Kiswahili. Mm -hmm. This place is hard. Mm -hmm. It means this place, there are no businesses. So guess what? It was now the businesses were now nourishing, they were prospering, they, whatever they planned, agriculture, uh, you know, crops, they were doing well. Praise the Lord. Amen. That was their environment. It was pleasant to look at, but underneath eh? The underlying issue was death. Mm. The underlying issue was barrenness. Praise the Lord. Mm. So you ought to pray in the name of Jesus. I want to show you another one before we finish. Um, Second Kings chapter 17. This one I love. I love this one. Uh, 17. Let's start with uh, the king of Syria 24. Let's read the, just the whole of that 24. 24. Second Kings 17, 24. And the king of Assyria brought men from Babylon and from Kutha, Kutha and from Hava and from Hamath and from Sepharavim and placed them in the cities of Samaria instead of the, instead of the children of Israel. And they possessed Samaria and dwelled in the cities thereof. This king came into power and he decided to trade people. Akatoa people from Samaria, every city. Akawatoa, akawapeleka Babylon. Na akabeba watu wa Babylon, like bringing people now from Runda or from Uganda and bring, taking them to Kitui, you know. Then some people from Kambala, you take them to Nakuru. Some people from I don't know where, he interchanged because he wanted to, you know, like really take control. Mm -hmm. And in the future, the place would be now like, you know, the way Ukraine, when they are saying many Russians are in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. They are Russians, but they've grown up in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. They speak Russian, but they are Ukrainians. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Mm -hmm. And that is why when now they start, or even when the soldiers meet each other, sometimes they are speaking the same language. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Mm -hmm. um, and so it was beginning of their dwelling there that they feared not the Lord. Therefore, uh, the Lord sent lions among them, which slew some of them. Wherefore they spoke to the king of Assyria, saying, The nations which thou hast removed and placed in the cities of Samaria know not the manna of the God of the land. The manna of the God of the land. Mm -hmm. in, in other words, they don't understand the spiritual laws of the land. Mm -hmm. Because the God of the land, who was our God, had his own spiritual laws. Mm -hmm. You will not worship another God. 
hautaweka madhabahu uchome mtoto mm. you understand mm. when you raise an altar it is unto the lord when they came what were they doing they were doing their immorality they were doing, they were having their sex orgies sex parties just like they used to do mm. they were having their uh, satanic nights just like they used to do mm. they were having their witchcraft meetings just like they used to do mm. and in this place walikuwa na malavites walikuwa na praise day walikuwa na passover day walikuwa na siku ya bread of bread of the living bread mm. they had other laws they were doing things differently mm. so when they came and they started they are, they are still raising their demonic altars they were just coming out of their house when scared when they come on to migu nini memkula a lion a place where there are no lions and they were hey, these lions they have become too much because imagine people from babylon they could hunt but they could do witchcraft to hunt but they never got one lion however the lions were still eating people so uh, they said uh, uh, Then the king of Assyria commanded saying carry thee the one of the priests whom you brought from hence and let them go and dwell there and let them teach them the manner of the god of the land uh, the one of the priest uh, whom they had carried away from Samaria came and dwelled in Bethel and taught them how they should fear the Lord how beat every nation made gods of their own and put them in their houses of the high places which the Samaritan had made every nation in their cities wherein they dwelt praise god mm. um, these men they had to get a levite so that so that ndio waendelee kuishi huko they learn the laws of the land mm. they learn in this place we pray in this place we do we worship the lord mm. so they had their gods on the side but the main god praise god mm. the main god on the worship form was god because failure to that ukipita <laughs> you run you leave your child mzonye and atafunwa na simba when you come back to get the lion wewe na watu wako you have the uh, the machetes the spears the what you find only the remains of your child mm -hmm. you try to trace where that lion has gone you could not find where the, you could not place where the lion has gone praise mm -hmm. the lord Amen. and that that way they knew that they were they knew that it was strange that's why they had to get somebody to train them on how to stay there so i just want to submit it to you everywhere every place you go try and look at the spiritual implications there are places where drug abuse is the order of the day there are places where gangster you know people are, our children they are joining the gangs and when they move from that area they are no longer in the gang but when they come in this area they are in the gang look at the crime that is uh, that is so exposed so obvious to notice in your area look at the livelihood are people here poor and struggling mm -hmm. then the spirit of poverty is reigning in that place mm -hmm. you know a place where you borrow each other chumvi from across the floor jodi ni bali ya chumvi na you you say na nene weke mafuta you know where people share poverty like a garment eh? mm -hmm. where our poverty mm -hmm. is just so obvious that hakuna maskini anacheka mwingine mm -hmm. Because you are laughing at me, I have no salt. You don't have kitungu, mm. but me have kitungu. Mm. And then as you are talking, somebody there says, "Eh, kujieni kitungu, lakini munipe unga." You know, and we are happy. We are poorly happy together. Praise God. Mm. And then we are praising the place. We are saying, "Aki uku watu li maskini, dakini wana pedana." So you know, you'll never move out of that place. Mm. Meanwhile, our kids now are getting into prostitution so that they bring us food. Mm. You know you know your child is getting into prostitution. But even you when you remember they are the ones who are going to bring food in the evening. Mm. Mm. There are places like that. Mm. There are people who become prostitutes not at their their siblings their parents are not aware. They know. They know. But when they sit down and say aki judi si tunakuelewa mami. Na tunajua tu utaangukia utaangukia mungoso. Endelea kutafuta and the parents are praying for their daughter to hit on somebody who is rich it's a sorry state but it happens mm. but do you know most of them it is because of the environment it is where they bought land mm. it is where they build it is where they are staying so i would advise you when you in this environment because you are already somewhere do a survey understand which spirits are working whether it is gated community whether it is you know a place where we build with no plan you know where even the roads are not there we've mm -hmm. grabbed and we build on them mm -hmm. wherever you are try and look at your environment 
you may be having small babies who are suckling so they cannot hold a gun and you think that your kids are going to be better they will marry the sons of those gangsters ukiona hivi na macho yako you are trying to say no and your daughter is threatening to commit suicide what do you mm. do unamwacha tu anaolewa huko before long she is a widow and before long she is even dead so what is your spiritual environment what is what is this demon that is the head of your area please investigate and pray and i know most of us we are refusing to pray we are hiding away from prayer by simply taking a a what we are, we are sitting on the fence where we don't believe in witchcraft you know when you say i don't believe in witchcraft when to kiswa tapa so die by fire lose your power you you are just like <laughs> which that you just you are too lazy to pray mm. i pray in the name of jesus christ that you will wake up from that stupor mm. and you will start investigating and praying mm. you know utaona watoto wa watu wanapotea because wako on that potering age mm. they are 17 they are 18 you are just 2 years 3 years what do they know but if you care is not taken then this one your child will be the, they will bring up their own gang mm. when the time comes mm. so it's a time bomb you know uh, in swahili we say ukiona mwanzako ananyolewa na wewe chako chukua tu mafuta anza kupaka you you see when they are shaving the head of your partner don't say let me hey njoroge njoroge yoki para yako itashine wamekunywa vibaya aki njoro wamekukata hapa na msonye selling njoroge let me see njoroge wamekukata hapa is laughing at hey hey wamekukata msonye you are next when you next after wamemalizia njoro wanasema na wewe msonye kuja hapa unaanza kusema msonye msinyinywe ka njoroge before long mnyinyi wote mnakaa vipara ziko na maalama praise god so ukiona if you see watoto wa jirani wamekuwa malaya please instead of employing yourself to become the rumamonga mm. kwa gates hao malaya wanapitanga hapa mm. <laughs> kenyans wake up and christian as a whole instead of just you know you keep yourself busy now you are in kameme mm. he umeona watoto wa aki ya 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 kwanza rensi kama nyua hivi kama nyua hivi mm. you are still sucking their thumb wakingoja matiti hmm. when you finish breastfeeding them The, you, maybe rent ya meanza at 18 maybe wako ataanza at 12 mm. because you know wickedness is perfected in time mm. praise god mm. let us pray for our environment that's mm. what i'm saying wake up and pray 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 praise the lord mm. pray about it ukiona watoto wanapotea where you live please don't go home and start shangiliating ukipiga kitongo na ambia kanacha umeana vile nalala amepotea and kanacha say nalala amepotea mami Don't worry when Kaleche potea she would tell you mami nimepotea you will be asking her Kaleche nalela amepotea kabisa wachana na nalela we wachana na nalela mama wachana na nalela kabisa then you know mm. you know there is a problem praise god mm -hmm. so let us pray for our environment before you move there and now because you've already moved there and i know you could be praying because unaona vitu zimeanza kukuwa mbaya but take it serious a woman who prays for the that environment aki hata watoto wote wavute bangi hapo god will spare your own because you've been interceding for the whole lot mm -hmm. so god is faithful he will show his faithfulness but if you just sit there start backbiting them not knowing wako wataanza kuuza bangi shule So let us look at our environment and when you are moving and if the environment you see is highly charged I can always advise you move I don't know what is this thing with paying the deposit that people will always anytime I've told people please move from that environment because your prayer is not equal to the force you know to the spiritual wickedness around mm -hmm. that area and you still want to insist mimi ni mtaule nitaka i will no there are ones that you run away from even mm -hmm. god told joseph take the child and the mother and run why didn't god say i am the old i am the lord of all flesh stay there and i will show you road pepe mm -hmm. why didn't god say that because kuna battles ngine msonye ni za kuondokea Umeishi Kibra wamefika class 1 class 2 aki sacrifice ulipe tu nyumba ya 3000 toka toka tu just move out uh, uh, believe god to provide he will provide praise god because there are some battles you can't fight but if you can fight the battles 
fight it out in that place. But notice, realize, be, be aware that there is a war in that environment. It could be affecting your marriage, it could be damaging your children, it could be damaging your business, it could be damaging your health. There are places you go and everyone over 40 is sick. Mm. Everyone over 60 is dying, mm. praise God. Mm. And so, oh, give you to 60, to Nanza Kona, shoulder may disconnect. Shoulder may dis you, you are becoming joint escalator. <laughs> Unanza Kukua, a puppet. <laughs> eh? Because the age, you've approached that age, praise God. Mm. So, God bless you. I love you so much. Keep it prayer, keep it God. Uh, stay blessed in Jesus' name. Thank Amen. you for all of you who are alive with me.